The Honda Civic SIR, this is powered by a B16A. This is owned by Nico, who owns the B16B that we did the Type R, the 2 liter, and the D16A6 that's now a turbo street car. Yes, Nico acquired this about four to five months ago. Of course, he did the basic maintenance, got it all good. And when it was running pretty good and pretty standard for a stock car, he took it to the track of Clark International Speedway. Here you can see him having fun and all that good yep and as soon as he got home he actually decided to send the car to us because he has a b20 block that we did assembled earlier here's the we have video of that so for the first time we time lapse the engine removal and we'll talk about the setup of the b20 vtech so yep let's go <laughs> On the Civic SIR, this is quite sought after in our country in the Philippines because this is the only Civic that came with a B series, be it an EG or an EK. This is the only one that has a B series from the factory, from the dealer. As here you can see, stock stock with a B16A. So yep, this is a pretty good Civic locally. So this is a Honda Civic SIR, and the value does not really go down. And Nico acquired this like about five months ago and he took it to the track here. Yes, wait, let's check out the scene where he's trying to get acclimated to the track, you know, getting all the laps good so that, you know, he can see where he can push it good. And once he was okay, he started to give it a little good, yep, now it's, we're making good run. Yes, and the only problem here is he noticed the oil light wouldn't would start to flicker and then would no longer go off. So what he did was, and the, he did this properly and wisely. He didn't actually force the car to go back to the pits. He actually just stopped it there. Have the had someone or the truck or from the track tow him back to the pits just to not just to be sure that you know if there's a damage it won't get worse. So yep, they towed it back to the pits. And of course, when they, che they checked there, it wasn't really low on oil. So it was probably just scavenging, you know, the disruption is bad. So yes, this is also his spare block. So he decided to, instead of having the B16 rebuilt, he sent the whole car to us. And now it's going to be a B20 VTEC. Yes, it's going to be all so fun, right? So yep, as soon as the car got to us here, it's all parked nicely. Yeah, it's so clean, it's really good, right? The plan here now is a B20 VTEC, but since his B16 setup already has a GSR B18C cam, we're gonna do a B20 VTEC, like as if Honda released a two liter B series for the SIR. So it's gonna remain with an OEM GSR cam, but it's going to be running good pistons to pull up the compression. So this is going to be a fun project. And yes, he does plan to dyno this with his tuner eventually. So this is going to be really interesting. We're going to try to push good power on this project, but it's going to be almost all OEM. So it's going to be budget friendly, nothing too crazy. And everyone else can do the same thing. Yep, let's look at this because when it's B20, the deck will be taller. But before anything, like the video, this way it gives more activity to the algorithm. It'll show you to a wider audience because the more likes, the more activity it sees on the algorithm. So that's going to be good for the channel. It helps me grow and the audience will be wider. So, hey, it's going to be all fun, right? So hit the like button for me. Thank you so much for that. And if you haven't, subscribe. This way you can check out all the other videos that we've done on your own time. Because when you're subscribed, you can just check on the playlist and what we have. You can enjoy that on the weekends or something, right? So it's going to be good. And of course, for the hardcore audience, here's a lot of videos on the membership only. You got to take the top members so that you get all the good stuff like engine building, even dyno tuning and all the other stuff that we don't usually talk about in public. It's all there. So that's for the hardcore enthusiast, all right? Yeah. Okay, for the first time, we're going to try to time lapse the whole engine removal thing here. Yes, we're going to pull that engine. So, yep, let's start with the time lapse now. All right, my colleague, two of my colleagues, my colleagues, they're, they're both brothers. So they work well together. 
they're starting to pull up the axle because you know they're gonna pull the whole engine with the transmission so you gotta remove the axles first and all the other details here on the other side we move the camera yes make sure everything is good now yep it's almost getting there get to remove everything we're actually draining the oil now from the engine and the transmission this way you can move it around once you pull it out because if you don't drain it you gotta be careful not to tilt the end because you're gonna you know pour out oil from everywhere yep okay now let's move the stand again on this side is the cherry picker or as we call it the engine hoist getting ready yes there you go we're pulling the engine now little by little get all the supports out yep get the fuel line off yes it's all removed now here it is all stock b16a with a p30 intake manifold from the other side here yep now we're gonna start to remove all the accessories and all the other stuff so that we can carry this to the engine stand here my colleague is removing all the small details so it's getting ready we're gonna pull the head because that's the only thing we're gonna use on this oh well, of course the transmission too so now the block the b20 block that we're gonna use is on the engine stand we actually have a video when we disassemble this the high mileage b20 when we expect inspected it nothing was wrong so it was pretty good so this is ready to go to the machine shop with the patience it's gonna go with yes all right now let's go to the workbench here's the p30 intake manifold and yes we're gonna stick with this because we're, we're gonna do a, a two liter oem sir project yes it already has a 70 millimeter throttle so we're gonna clean that up so that the transition is really good yes then we're gonna cut the plenum here so we can access all the runner entries and port it good the cut will be all the way to here behind so yep it's gonna be all opened up good and because we have an old video of that we're gonna do a new video now with better details and yes in case you guys are wondering we've done this before and the b16 that ran the manifold made over 180 wheel horsepower on ctr cams that's the series so this is a b20 you know it might do 190 or even 200 right so now here's the stock head Yes, and you can see some carbon buildup. It'll be interesting. We'll show you more details in, in a little bit. We're going to pocket port this like a Type R. So this is going to be like a Type R style porting. Not fully ported totally. For more torque. Because we're going to try to push efficiency really good. The injector is here, right? But you can notice, you can look closer where the fuel puddles or hits on the port. It's cleaning up the carbon. There's no carbon in that area from the divider from the middle, right? That's because the engine is not running efficiently. Not the engine itself, but maybe the header, the intake is not complementing each other. So it's having carbon buildup. So we're going to try to solve that with a B20. Here's the other side. As you can see, it's PR3-3. This is not a Type R. Not all Dash 3 heads are Type R. They're simply the third generation or the later model b16a yes we're gonna clean all the chambers there just make sure it's efficient yes and we're gonna check the shave this is actually not really milled so much maybe a little less than half a millimeter so that's still good we're gonna resurface it we got a video on that to show you how to check how if the block is milled the head yes and we're also gonna move this dowel here to the other side this is our way of converting the head for VTEC and plugging this. So, yep, so this is going to be ready for VTEC. We actually have a good video of that. It has over 30,000 views. So, this is complete for you guys. Look at the video, right? Yes. And all those videos will be in the playlist. So, don't worry about that. So, you got to subscribe and check it out, right? Yes, we're going to be fully porting the exhaust this time so that we can up the efficiency really good. Here's the rest of the parts. Yes, of course, the ERP rod bolts, the important the VTEC line, the oil sandwich plate, ACL race bearings, Golden Eagle cam gears, OEM timing belt, and yes, the Gen 3 YCP pistons. 
The reason why it's three, because one of them is already in the machine shop with the block is getting bored and honed. So it's gonna be good and ready. So yes, so next up is gonna be assembling the engine, the block, but we'll be putting the head and the intake manifold. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna be putting all the details there. And so as soon as we finish that video, yes, of course, you guessed it. You can always click it right here.